Hello everyone. In this video, we will explain how to apply Copper Pro to a PCB. After completing all the routing except for the GND net, the final step is to connect the GND net using Copper Pro. Click Project Design, Net, Red Lines, and you will see that currently only the GND net remains unconnected. Before performing the Copper Pro, we need to fan out the GND pads. Specifically, we draw a short trace from each GND pad and place a via at the end of the trace. Since most of routing is on the top layer, some pads might not be able to connect to the global GND network via copper pool on the top layer due to the obstruction of signal traces. By placing a via, we can connect the pad to the bottom layer's GND copper pool, ensuring that every pad is connected to the same GND area. Once that fan out is completed, go to Place, Copper Region, Rectangle, and draw a rectangle that covers the entire PCB. In pop-up window, the GND net is already selected by default. Click Confirm, and the copper pool for GND net on the top layer will be completed. Repeat the same process for the bottom layer. After the copper pool is done, you might notice that some GND pads are still showing red lines on the left panel. This indicates that their fan out might have been missed. In this case, you can press Shift M to temporarily hide the copper pool, perform fan out on the remaining pads. Then press Shift B to update the copper pool. Similarly, if you need to adjust traces after copper pool, you can use this same method. It's important to note that the Field Region tool mentioned earlier will not avoid existing traces during copper pool. It will completely cover the selected area. In contrast, copper region follows DRC rules and avoids covering existing traces. You can choose between copper region and field region depending on your needs. That's all for this video. Goodbye.